Hey everybody, it's John with Lake Erie Chestnuts, badly in need of a coronavirus haircut. I'm going to transplant some of my trees today. It's Mother's Day, and it's Mother's Day frost time. So you've seen I've had some trees outside that I've had outside for a couple weeks to get them hardened off to be, get used to the real sun as opposed to artificial lights. And they're coming along nice. They're getting some cooler nights, and now we've got this Mother's Day frost time frame, so I've had to be shuttling them in and out. So if, they, if you have individually potted plants and not in a, a holder for all those pots, it can be a pain in the butt. So some of mine have stayed in the basement when they're individually potted, but these I have, you know, in nice cases here. This is uh, the English white oaks, and then these over here are in the Rootmaker 18s. These are some chestnuts. Now, you can see they're coming along nicely, look good. Today what I'm gonna do is upsize, transplant over from these Rootmaker 18s. They've been in there now for a couple months. That's about all they can last in that size of a container. It's almost four inches square. Now this is slightly smaller, but they're over eight inches deep. So this is a three by eight. So we're going to transplant them over to that so their roots have some room to grow downward and get about another month's worth of growth. That way I don't have to water them as much. If you don't get them into a bigger container, you find yourself watering them sometimes, you know, at least once every single day. Sometimes a little more if it's really windy out. So without any further hesitation, I'm going to start the transplanting process. You see a really good root structure here on these root makers, they air prune. So you see some nice root structure there. If they get that nice and zoomed in, that's about two months worth of growth. Now we're gonna move these. I'm just gonna push it right down in here. And then it'll be able to continue putting roots down there. Now I'll lose some of that air pruning. Just shoved it in there. I'll lose some of that air pruning, but at least now it has some room to grow down in the root. So we'll move the camera back here a little bit. Give you a little more wind noise, but you'll be able to see me do some transplanting here. And I'll probably take the nut off too. I have that nut on there right now. That nut's probably going to go after today. Really nice root structure there. And again, just pushing it in. Fits perfectly. Because that bottom is tapered, so it fits perfectly into this 3 inch, 3 by 8 inch. These are called tree pots. I bought them from Greenhouse Mega Store, which I bought from a couple times. They, they're they pretty prompt even with coronavirus. They did a good job. Pretty easy process here. And then, you know, I'll water these all in. And within a month, these will be either at a new home or in the orchard. So again, this is from the Rootmaker 18. We're going to a three by eight tree pot. There's D pots, which I also have, which are a round uh, thing, more like these cone containers. And then there's these tree pots, which I guess because they have a deeper root. Now look at this one. That's two months of growth putting out new growth still. Pretty, pretty good growers. Now it's a little crooked right now, but that thing will straighten right up. You put it in a tube, you put it on a stake for just a couple months, it'll go just fine. All right, so I'll get these taken care of, and then we'll come back and talk a little bit. 
Well, I got 16 of the 18 to fit into this container, and I watered them. And they look good. I'll keep the nuts on there just for another couple days. I'm going to cut those off definitely before I plant them. They'll do just fine. So happy chestnuts getting hardened off. Just to give you a base of what the trees look like here. These are some one and two year old seedlings. It's hard to get them to focus here. The buds are still pretty tightly wrapped here in north. This looks kind of dry. Here in northwest Pennsylvania, pretty dry. Still early season. Hope your chestnut growing season is going well. Hopefully your trees, all your seeds started sprouting and you got some trees growing. Some of you down south have posted pictures. You already got the blooms starting to show. So that's awesome. I'll be starting to cut the orchard within the next week or two. We'll start showing some orchard maintenance out actually at the orchard. Last year was a kind of a down year after having a year or two of some decent chestnut production. We had a little down year. This year I'm looking for a real surge in the young orchard in production. So hopefully we'll see a lot of blooms and we'll have a fun summer. Remember, if you're not growing, you're dying. Or if you're not growing chestnuts, you're nuts. From me and Izzy at Lake Erie Chestnuts. Have a great day.